Okay, we've got another trig integral here to evaluate. You want to give this a try? Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to rewrite this in an equivalent form. I'd prefer to work with sine and cosine, tangent and secant. So I know that cotangent is sine o uh, cosine over sine. So I can rewrite that cotangent cube as cosine to the third of x over sine to the third of x. And then cosecant is 1 over sine. So if I multiply the numerator and denominator by sine, and then have the sine of x up here, and I can reduce this down a little bit. So I've got one sign here will cancel with one here. So this would actually be a square here. And then I'll continue over here then. So this will be the integral then of cosine cube of x over sine squared. And this is dx. So it looks like we can use a standard u substitution here. I know the derivative of sine is cosine. So let me break this up this way. On top, I write this as cosine squared of x times cosine of x. That's the same thing as cosine cubed. So I'm just rewriting the integral into an equivalent form. So this would be sine squared down here in the denominator. And like I said, I'm going to let u equal to the sine of x. Then du will equal to the derivative of cosine, which is, or sine rather, which is cosine of x dx. So now we need to write everything in terms of in terms of u. So just to kind of speed it up here, I know that the sine squared here, that's going to be u. So that'll be the u squared. And this part right here, cosine dx, that'll be du. And then cosine squared, using the identity cosine squared plus sine squared of an angle equals to 1. We can solve cosine squared in this way. So cosine squared is the same thing as 1 minus sine squared of x. So this is going to equal to the integral of, so again, instead of cosine squared of x, I got 1 minus sine squared of x. So this then can be written up here then with as a 1 minus and then sine squared and sine of x is u, so this would just be u squared here. And then the denominator, I have the sine squared at, and sine of x is u, so this would just be u squared dx. Sorry, du. So again, the cosine x dx, that's replaced by du. And I'll start over here then, this is equal to, then I'm just going to divide through by u squared here, so this would be 1 over u squared or u to the negative 2, and then minus, and then u squared over u squared, that's going to be 1 du, and then we just integrate term by term there in the parentheses with respect to u, we add a 1 to the negative 2, this would be a negative 1, and then we divide the coefficient 1 by negative 1, this would be a minus. And minus 1, the integral with respect to u is just a minus u plus the constant of integration. And then this is going to equal 2. So this is u, and that's sine. So that would be sine to the negative 1 is 1 over sine. But 1 over sine is cosecant, so I can write that. And then, like I said, there's more more than one way to write the final answer here, but I could leave it in terms of sine, or I could say, well, 
1 over sine is the same thing as cosecant because those functions are reciprocals. So I could write this as minus cosecant of x and then minus u and u is sine of x. And then that's plus your constant integration. See, so this is your final answer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.